guys, it's Ebony C. Princess, and I wanted to share with you some tips for caring for your virgin Indian hair from whichever vendor you choose to purchase it from. The install that I have right now, the sew-in, the hair that I'm using is by Indique. I have several videos on um, just what I think about Indique, what I think about the hair, different styles that I've done, so feel free to check them out if you want any more tips specifically about the Indique hair. But this video is going to be about caring for virgin hair just in general. So I've shared with you several times that I um, have been wearing quality hair extensions for about eight years, um, meaning that I've gotten hair that is not available at the beauty supply store that I either have to go to a showroom, a boutique, or order it online. And the reason why is just I just noticed the quality is better. Um, I do believe that some beauty supply brands are hit and miss. Um, some have stepped their game up and offered a higher end, but I'd rather go for something that I have more confidence in that is always going to deliver. So that's the reason why I started wearing um, quality hair extension and investing a little bit more in my hair. Now that being said, um, this is my first virgin Indian hair or virgin hair, you know, whether it's Malaysian, Cambodian, whatever. It's my first virgin hair pur pr purchase. I've always used either processed curls or um, you know, a relaxed texture or something like that. So, virgin hair, we're familiar with that term because most of us didn't get our first relaxer until we were a little girl. So, we remember those days of our hair being, you know, either curly, kinky, um, before we got our first relaxers. And so, it's the same thing when you're talking about another nationality. It's hair that has been untouched by any chemicals. Um, it's, you know, hair as it grows out of somebody's scalp, and they either sell it or donate it and the, where we buy it from, they gather it, they make sure the cuticles are aligned in the same direction, hence what the word Remy means, and sew it onto a weft and here you have it, a full head of waist length weave. Um, because it's virgin, it takes a little bit more maintenance. It's definitely not like wash and go, wake up and go you know, um, sleep and go hair. And sometimes we think that weaves gives us a little bit more convenience. In my opinion, that's not always true. Um, what weaves do is give us, yes, convenience in a way, but it also gives us versatility that we might not have with our real hair. For example, I can use heat on this hair as much as I want to without worrying about heat damage. You know, um, I can wear it down as much as I want to and not have to worry about protecting my ends. I don't have to moisturize and seal. You know, those kinds of things. Yes, in that sense that it's convenient. But it's virgin hair. So most people can't just go to sleep with hair that's been unprocessed and wake up and walk out the door. You know, you have to do something to it. And especially for virgin Indian hair, a lot of it is either wavy or curly. Even when you have the straight, like I do, this has been washed. This is washed and dry, air dried hair. It has some sort of curl, wave, body. It's not pin straight. So, you need to have product in order to tame that. So for me, when I wash and wear it, I usually put um, some sort of curl cream or holding cream in it. I'm not going to show you the product that I use because I don't know if it's the best. It's just something that I had here and it worked just fine. But it makes it so that when the curls and the hair actually dry, you know, it's not frizzy looking. It's not bushy. It's not nappy. It's nice and... Um, you know, tamed. I won't even say defined because like I said, I have that straight texture. So it's not supposed to have a lot of waves or anything like that. It's just supposed to be, have body. So these curls, like I said, don't have, um, don't have any frizziness. So that's one thing is it's not product free hair for most of the time. Another thing is you still have to cover it at night with a satin scarf, satin bonnet, whatever. Especially if you have it in a heat style, meaning I flat ironed it, I've blown it out, whatever, I've curled it. Definitely, if you go to bed and you wake up, it's going to be, you know, frizzy. And I recommend, you know, if you have curly or wavy hair, putting it in one or two plaits or twists at night and then going to bed and styling it and shaping it the next morning. Another thing is you want to make sure, even though it's not your hair, that you keep it relatively free of buildup. Um, Indian hair is a little bit finer than African American hair, and so product buildup can really, really affect its performance very quickly. 
if the hair is weighed down it definitely won't look as cute it definitely won't style as nicely and so you do want to make sure that you condition or wash it or even with a sulfate free shampoo that you wash it um, just as regularly as you would your real hair to keep it free of the product that you're keeping in it to um, prevent um, the frizziness you want to you know make sure that you're not just adding I've seen people that have like even just like the micro braids they add water and mousse to it every day and like never wash the braids I mean and of course by the time they take it out it just looks like a bird's nest is sitting in their head because you know it has all the weeks and weeks of products built up so um, that's another thing also if you're spending a little bit of money even if you're not spending a little bit of money let's just go there um, even if you're getting like you know cheap beauty supply store hair because that's what your budget allows I'm not knocking you I would recommend that you seal the wefts this is high-end hair um, it's not the most expensive hair that you can ever purchase by any means but it's a higher quality and I still seal the wefts the way that I personally look at that is some people say okay I spent a little bit more then I shouldn't have to take the time to do all this extra the hair should just you know not shed on its own I will say that I have some friends that wear in deep hair that don't seal the webs you know they're not on any hair board they're not on YouTube or whatever and so they never heard of it I had never heard of it before getting out here and watching some of you guys tell me how it's done and what it is so but I feel like if you're spending you know two three hundred dollars or more on hair extensions it's like protecting your investment you know it's like okay I've invested in this hair so I want it to last as long as it possibly can you know it's just like if you go to you know any designer boutique whatever and you buy a suit that's a little bit nicer you're not just going to throw it in the wash you know you're going to take it to the dry cleaner you're going to use dry L or whatever to make sure that it lasts a little longer and holds up a little better right I feel it's the same way with your hair extensions so I would take the time to seal the wefts that's my personal opinion um, another thing is when you sew it you want to make sure that you don't cut the webs and you have someone just fold it over and continue to sew. There are several hair companies that even state this on their website that recommend that you fold the webs over, especially if you get a hand tied weft instead of machine weft, um, you know, hair. Because the more you cut it, the more opportunity you give the hair to unravel and to begin to shed. So it's easier to be reused if you don't cut the webs, and it also eliminates extra shedding that you don't want to have so those are my tips for wearing your virgin Indian hair um, or virgin hair of any any you know uh, I guess you call it race or nationality um, if you guys have more I would love to know a lot of you are more experts on wearing virgin hair than I am as this is my first one won't be my last but yeah just leave a comment below let me know let others know and I appreciate you for watching thank you so much take care and stay blessed Bye.